right farmers we've got a new map so this is Balkanska farmer this is by mex 70.22 megabyte on the download and it says the Balkanska farmer map is modeled after the balkan terrain oh excellent and what are we talking about from a slot count perspective if you come on here on all three game modes you're going to use 830 slots that's because everything is here buildings equipment everything on all three game modes excellent Right, so what are we talking about from an equipment perspective? We've got under smog tractors, we've got the Burris 6105 and the Zetor Z25K. Now, I do believe that's an unlockable one. So, hmm, all right, interesting. Under harvesters, we've got the Russell Mash Nova 330. Under trailers, the Walga DK115. Under headers, the Russell Mash Power Stream 500. Under plows, the Pottinger Servo 25. Under cultivators, the Rabe EG39. Under Cedars, the Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030. And then to finish off, we've got the Amazon ZATS3200. Now, you're thinking, oh, that's small equipment. And you'd be right. But there's a reason for that. Because that's your map. And that's it all the way zoomed out. <laughs> it's it's tiny. Yeah, it's, it is definitely on the small side. But, you know. Good things come in small packages. That's what we're going to go for. Anyway, so farmland that you own on New Farmer. Obviously, you've got the waterway, which is area 23 for some reason. We've also got 41, 42, 22, which is going to be the main start farm, and then field 12 just there. Fair enough. But that being said, it being a small map does pack a lot in. I must admit, you've got all these production chains down here. Oh, that's ace. Right, so start farm. I'm going to put the map on actually so I can see where I'm going. Bit of storage under there. Bit of storage under there. You've got the house here. Now, this is important because obviously this is a required mod. This is the Polish house by Jopic56. Obviously, it should automatically download or at least give you the option anyway. You can't play the map without it. Fair enough. We'll come around the back there. Got a bit more storage under there. And then we've got a bunker silo just there. And then around the back here, we've got your silo as well. Loading in point there, taking out point there. Fair enough. Right, we're going to have a little run around the map because it's that small. I don't think we even need to jump to the different places. Oh, uh, it, it, to be fair, right, it being small, but it is nice. I do like it. And then we'll come down here and obviously we're by the pond. We've got a water loading in point. That's all right. Back your trailer down into the water. Oh, that's all right, indeed. And we'll come up round here. And next to it, we've got a cell point. So we're coming there like that. So that's going to be your biomass heating plant. So you load your stuff in there. Obviously, hit your cell icon, cell wood icon, whatever you want to call it. So we'll come out of there. We're going to take a little turn down there like that. And this is where we get into the sort of main production area. Now, first up on the right-hand side is going to be an oil mill. So we'll go through those gates like that. Loading in point there, pallet spawn point there, and then we'll spin round and we've got your production chain menu just there. 80 grand to buy, jobs are good. Un. So we'll come back out of there, we'll come over the road, got your great processing factory, open up those gates, loading in point, production chain menu, pallet spawn point, click on that there, 80 grand again. So we'll come out of there, back down this road, so we've got this one here. It's going to be your spinnery. Fair enough. Loading in point there. Production chain menu just there. 60 grand to buy. Then down this side. Around the end. Oh, no, I've got lost. Where have we gone? Alright, where's the pallet spawn point? That's interesting. So it's normally sort of down the back here. Alright, maybe they just spawn there. There's no hatch marking area. Fair enough. So we'll come out of that and we'll go around here turn around like that down this end i'm gonna come up to this one up here so that's going to be your debris crusher so you load in there or at the top then we'll spin back around i'm gonna come back down here like that i'm gonna go up a little i mean it's not a flat map there's some hills some little tracks you need to get up to so that's all right we've got a sawmill up here so you've got your taking out point of your wood chips i do like this sawmill this looks ace really does now you've got a loading in point there well that being said let's click on that i mean it's all classed as south station 2 
Well, that's a wood chip sow station. That's not a sawmill at all. All right, fair enough. Then we come around here. You've got another sow point. That's going to be for your wood there. So obviously, put your trailer in. Hit your sow wood icon. Then we've got another sow point here. That's going to be for your bales. Yeah, fair enough. Right, we'll carry on. Go back down this bit. And then along this road like that. So we're going to come up on the left-hand side. We have another factory. So in it is going to be your cereal factory. Open up those gates like that. So come down this side. Loading in point, pallet spawn point, and then production chain menu in the corner there. 110 grand to buy. Fair enough. And next door to that is going to be a couple of sow points. So we'll go back out to the main road again. Because we'll come in here. We'll open up those gates like that. Spin it round the back. Just like so. There's your sow point there for you. Next door to that is going to be a supermarket. So back out onto the road again. And we'll go into those gates like that. And we'll come all the way around the back again. Just there. Fair enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to come here. We're going to go over the road. Because we've got a bakery. So we'll go through these gates just there like that. Obviously your production chain menu is just there at the front. 50 grand to buy. Then we'll come round the back. You've got your pallet spawn point loading in point. Then we'll come back out of there. Back up the road a little. And next door to that is going to be another sow point. So this is going to be round the side, back, whatever you want to call it. Just there. So that one. Let's click on that actually. What's that called? Pizzeria. Fair enough. We have got another sow point there. <laughs> We've gone down the wrong road. But alright, fair enough. I thought we were going to get lost on this map. <laughs> There's definitely a good chance trying to do it all in one go. But all right, fair enough. The next door to that is going to be another production chain. So this is going to be your grain mill. So we'll come down here. And in these gates like that. Careful you don't hit yourself in the face. Loading in point there. Production chain menu there. Although the pallet spawn point should be there. Click on that. 96 grand. Maybe the landscaping's just nudged it out of the way probably under the ground a little all right fair enough then we'll come back out of there we'll come down here and we've got a carpentry so we'll come down this bit down to the road just there we've got the gates in there like that obviously you've got your sourwood icon your pallet spawn points just there and then you've got your production chain menu right up there like that 60 grand fair enough and we'll come back out of there. Next door to that one. It's going to be your dairy. And I've gone the wrong way again. <laughs> Typical. Dear Oda. Ah, there you are. There's your entrance. So you've got your pallet spawn point just there. We'll spin it around this side. You've got your production chain menu just there. Pop on there like that. 70 grand. And then around the back here should be your loading in point. Just there. Fair enough. Right, we're going to go all the way across. We'll have a little jog because the map isn't big anyway. So, you know, if you're into your small farming, this is going to be a nice one. Oh, we've also got sow point just there, actually. There you are. This should be a fast food restaurant. So around the back, just there. If you like your small farming, this is going to be a map for you. The fields are not big at all, and they're nice and cheap as well. I think it's something like seven grand to buy. That's all right indeed. You know, well cheap. It's so definitely one for your small farmer. You know, you're not going to need big equipment, which is why you're probably starting with the small equipment anyway. Fair enough. And I need to go back this way because the entrance is up here. So we've come round here and we've got your gates to be opening. We've got the tailor shop. So wardrobe icon at the front. Loading in point. Production chain menu. 100 grand. Then round the back is going to be your pallet spawn point just there. So we'll come back out of there. Go around to the right. Carry on the way we was going. Before we have to back up on ourselves. Yeah, well, you never know. It's okay. So we're going to take a right up here first. Up here like that. And then we're going to go left into here. So this is going to be another sow point for you. So this is farmer's market. Open up those gates like that. Oh no, it's animal dealer. That's all right. I mean, we've got no animals on the go, mind you. There you are. Play something down first, fair enough. You've got a sow point there, so I'd imagine that's going to be your bales. 
farmer's market? What's farmer's market and an animal dealer at the same time? Nice use of a building, that is. Doubling up. Fair enough. We'll come out of there and we'll go down here like that. I'm going to take a right into this one. Open up that one there. It's going to be a sugar mill. So you're loading in point there. And we'll come down to the back on this one. You should have your pallet spawn point there. But I believe, yeah, the, the terrain's probably just gone above the hatch marking area. So they, they should spawn there, not a problem. Then we've got the production chain menu there. 80 grand. And we'll come back out of there. We're going to turn right and come down to the bottom right hand corner of the map. There we are. This is going to be your main vehicle workshop area. So you've got a fuel tank there that you can fill up with. I mean, that's saying 10. Is that 10 litres or 10 pound a litre? <laughs> 10 pence. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. You've got your workshop trigger just there. Now, that would be ace if you had to drive your track drop onto those ramps. Oh, that could be all right. Then you've got your main vehicle workshop. Well, your main shop menu. Just there. Do you know what? I do like this map. And we'll go into the menu there. You know, it's not big. It is small. You know, there's plenty of trees as well. Towards the top of the map, there's a nice area of forestry. You know, it's sort of like... It's not easy forestry either. It's up the side of a mountain sort of thing. So, you know, the terrain is not going to be easy for you to get at. So you really are going to have to work for it. So if you're into your forestry, this could be all right. Yeah, there's no animal pens placed down, so you will need to put something down. But if you're into your small farming, this could be one for you. Oh, very nice. All right, so drop it in the comments below. What are you going to do? You're going to smash out some forestry, do a bit of farming, or you're going to place some animals down? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.